we've, we've talked about this, the seventy to thousand nadis. Certain nadi from your system is taken and a certain nadi from your… the betrothed one is taken and the thread is prepared in a certain way and it's tied to you. We try to add our own colors and culturally we try to make so many things attached to it, but essentially the push is towards reproduction, isn't it? That sounds very gross, totally uncivilized, but nature does not know any civilization, only societies know civilization, isn't it? So such a compulsive need is there in people, you must see, first of all, whether for you as a person, is it such an important thing or is it just a passing thing? I would say, for at least twenty-five to thirty percent of the people, they need not even go in that direction because it is just a passing interest. For another thirty to forty percent, it may be a little more long, they get into this, for ten years, twelve years they feel good, after that they think it's a burden. <coughs> there are some people for whom the need is very strong, that they need this. Another twenty-five, thirty percent need it for a much longer period. They definitely need to get into such arrangements and whatever. Above all, you must understand as body, as mind has memory, Physical body has its own memory. This is called runanubandha. You have heard of a word like this? The Indian people? Runanubandha? Runanubandha means it's the physical memory. Physical body itself has its memory. If it goes through certain experiences, it remembers and body responds and reacts in many ways in future based on this memory. Physical intimacies always cause this memory in a big way. And if you imprint with too many memories and there is a certain level of confusion in the body, you work out everything in your life, still you will find you do not know what it means to be blissful, there is no ease. There is no ease in your system because there is a complex impressions of memory in your system and it can confuse the body in such a way. So in India, when you got married, they tied Mangal Sutram to you. Hmm? Mangal Sutram means it's a sacred thread. If this is properly done, what it meant was you create this thread in a certain way. If you have forgotten this, every year you are supposed to renew this Mangal Sutra. You know this? Hmm? Not being done anymore because it's a thick gold chain. <laughs> it was supposed to be either raw cotton thread prepared in a certain way or raw silk thread so that there is a whole science, there is a whole way of manipulating one's energies or using one en one's energies, which is a tantric way where a certain nadi, you know what's a nadi? We've, we've talked about this, the seventy to thousand nadis. Certain nadi from your system is taken and a certain nadi from your… the betrothed one is taken and the thread is prepared in a certain way and it's tied to you. Now, the moment you have physical intimacy, is not just the bodies that met, two people's energies become like this. Now you can't break it. If you break it, you will have to severely damage both the people, you have to tear them apart. This is how marriages were conducted.